Hi there, ho there. Thanks for joining me for my morning coffee. I went downstairs today and got for a euro 50, the best cup of coffee that I'll ever have. Oh, that's so good. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. This is Sparkle Jezebel here, enjoying her cup of coffee that just makes her so happy. No matter what, whenever I have a cup of this coffee, it's just a good day. Anyways, so um, I myself am strange and unusual. And today I thought we would talk about dreams. Let's talk about dreams. So there is this amazing indie makeup company and they are called Copacetic Cosmetics. If you haven't heard of them, of course, all the stuff is going to be linked below, but if you haven't heard of them, go follow them on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. I'm not sure if they have a Twitter account. I don't do Twitter, um, but they are a great indie makeup company and they are very affordable. They're an affordable indie makeup company and they have, I have quite a few of their singles. I have, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today right here, no, the light, oh, there it goes, here, and this one here, can't really, I'm saving up for new audio video equipment, so be patient with me, and I have a bunch of their singles, nope, not that one, where is it, I have a bunch of their singles, <laughs> more here, and the reason I'm able to collect their singles easily, as opposed to other indie makeup brands is because every month on the first Tuesday of every month, they do a special and it's called $2 Tuesdays and they have five shades that are curated and it's, they're $2 a piece. So I got this beautiful baby. This is called our Alberto. I don't know if you can really see it with the light. Oh, there we go. I got this beautiful baby Alberto um, for, oh, the light, I fixed the light. So that really does help on this. Again, I'm learning you guys for $2, $2 and it's beautiful. Their formulas are a little flaky. Um, so if you don't like flaky formulas, you might not like this. Can't really get the best. I need a better, I, I just need better setup here, but. I apologize, but anyways, they're great. So they're running a contest right now. And I was like, oh, hey girl, yeah, I'll do this. Where, you know, you can enter three times. So this is one of my entries and they will collaborate with you to come up and you can create your five shades for an upcoming $2 Tuesday. And I was like, oh, hi, dream come true. Let's talk about it. So um, what I did is I sat down with some of my singles, not my copacetic singles, because I want to come up with something that is a little more unique. So I didn't want to like, you know, rely on copacetic. So I sat down with some of my singles. I kind of took on my fingers and kind of mixed here. So I have 10 shades, two, two themes, 10 shades that if I were to collaborate with with a uh, copacetic, I would love to create. So my first theme, you know, I thought about it and I thought about it and I, I love coming up with themes and this is like a dream come true. This was so fun for me. And so my first theme, you know, I wavered between like Europe because I'm a Europhile, um, strong women. I thought like, you know, naming a shade after Michelle Obama would be awesome. Um, but then I was driving home yesterday from work and I was like, this place is so beautiful. And I would love to write a love letter to Spain in this form of five shades of eyeshadow. So that is my first theme is Spain. So my first shade would be called España for Spain. And it would be a red base with either like a yellow duochrome shift or like, or not yellow, yellow, yellow. Yes, yellow duochrome shift or yellow sparkles, yellow something, because this is the Spanish flag. And I wanna kind of bring that out. And I, you know, I, all I do in my free time is scroll Instagram, looking at makeup accounts and seeing what's out there. And I really don't see much that looks like this. Yeah, sure. There are duochromes with that, that have red with different shifts, but I want something that was reminiscent of 
the Spanish flag. So here is a video. I took video, short video of every shade, just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Of course, this isn't what would be the final product because I'm literally just like sitting here on my desk with like playing in paint, like eyeshadow, like paint and just going eh, on my hands. But that's that's my first shade. So it would be Ifania and it would be, you know, kind of reminiscent of the Spanish flag. Um, my second shade. So Copacetic actually has this beautiful hot pink shade that sold out last time I checked and it's called Flamingo. And you know, pink flamingo, I love it. So I was thinking that I would do a play on that with a hot pink base, but add like sparkle and shimmer and just do it up. Like my name's Sparkle Jezebel, right? So I'm not doing mats here. Mats are awesome, but I'm not doing mats. So, you know, hot pink base with sparkle and shimmer and whatever I can add in there and call it flamenco. Spain, get it? Huh? 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 Yeah. Um, so, cause flamenco dancers, so I'm in Northern Spain, but, and they're really popular in Southern Spain, but if you go to any tourist hub, you'll find flamenco dancers in Spain, but they're very fiery. And blah, blah, blah. if you haven't seen a, a YouTube video of flamenco dancers, you should definitely, I don't know what this glare is on my face, but ignore it. It's probably the window. Um, go check it out. Cause they're amazing. When I was in Sevilla, um, at the Plaza de España, I caught like a street show of flamenco dancers and I was like, so this would be my homage to them. And it would just be a punchy, hot pink, flamingo pink, but with glitter and sparkle and boo and, you know, like a one shade, boom, boom. I want to have pink on my eyes, but I don't want to spend 20 minutes doing my shadow. My third shade, this is the one that inspired me when I was on, on my way home. So I drive through wine country. It's about a 40 minute drive. And I'll put, up a, I'll put up a picture here of where I live versus where I work. So I weave in and out of, sorry, it's, sorry if my camera's wonky. Um, I weave in and out of the autonomous community, so states of La, uh, Nevada, where I live, and La Rioja. And La Rioja and Nevada are ag country. They're ag country. And uh, they're known for their wine, La Rioja. So it's literally a 40-minute drive through wine country. And it is fucking beautiful, especially now, like with the leaves changing. It is, it is spectacular. So my next shade, I want it to be called Vino. Vino, wine in Spanish. And I would like it to have a kind of burgundy red wine colored base. And then the sparkle and shimmer in that one would be the color of like a Chardonnay. So like a buttery kind of not yellow, but like a, not really champagne, but like a bur like a like a Chardonnay color and a rose color all mixed together. So the col three colors of, of wine. Vino for wine country. Guys, if I could share this with you, I would, but I'm not going to because it's all mine. The next one. So um, if you don't know, I'm Jewish. Okay, so I, I have no religious affinity toward these European cathedrals. But ever since I stepped foot on the continent in 2007 for the first time, I've kind of had a, uh, for lack of a better word, boner for these cathedrals and Spain delivers. Spain delivers these cathedrals, okay? I will put up some pictures here of the Barcelona Cathedral, which is my favorite place in Europe. Um, maybe even counting Amsterdam, like the Barcelona Cathedral is, it, it, I, it leaves me speak, speechless and, not a lot of things leave me speechless. So there's the Barcelona Cathedral. Um, there is the, oh, I should put I, the Sevilla, the Catedral de Sevilla. That's where Christopher Columbus is buried. Um, so it's huge. It's the biggest cathedral I've ever been to. They are beautiful. They have these amazing stained glass windows. I live five minutes away from a pretty decent one. Um, apparently five minutes away in the other direction from another one that I haven't been to. They're everywhere. So my next shade, I would call Catedral. 
And it would, it's inspired by the stained glass and the, the colors in the cathedrals. So it would be a matte, like a matte, you know, neutral base, whatever. Um, and then I would just want glitter, like a matte with glitter in it, right? So people don't like those, I don't mind them. I think they're fun. So a matte with, sh with glitter in it, shimmer, but the shimmer would be like Christmas lights. I want it to be like Christmas lights on your eyes because I would love a shade like that where it's just like, you know what? I just want more Christmas lights on my eyes or just like boop underneath my eyebrows. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of shimmer, you know? But like multicolored Christmas light, multicolored Christmas light. I don't do white Christmas lights, shimmer. And that's inspired by the beautiful cathedrals here with their colors. They're colorful and the stained glass is beautiful. So that would be Catedral. And then the last one. So I kind of have a love hate relationship with this last one. Um, this last one I would call siesta. And the reason I have a love hate relationship with it is because I love taking naps. Okay. Don't even, I love naps. Like naps are my favorite thing. If you know me personally, like naps are my jam and to have a country who kind of celebrates the fact that you take a nap in the afternoon. It's awesome. However, living here is kind of a pain in the ass because some places are a pain in the ass to get anything done. So like, for example, after I film this, I have to go to the post office, but the post office closes at two. So if I work till three, I can't go to the post office that day. It just, the bank closes at two, everything closes. So siesta is my, my little shout out to things that aren't perfect in Spain because <laughs> nothing's perfect, but this is siesta. And, you know, I want it to be, you know, when you sleep during siesta, you rest. So I want it to be dark and stormy. So this would be, you know, a dark, you know, maybe navy blue or, you know, not a burgundy because I already have burgundy, but like a navy blue base with dark purple and raspberry shimmer, stuff like that. Okay. So that, that would be my first five, uh, $2 Tuesday is España, my, my little, my little love letter to Spain. Um, I also thought about doing Amsterdam. Maybe I'll throw together an Amsterdam one because the girl can dream, but for now we'll start with Spain. Um, so my second collection, you know, I, want, I, I have, okay. So you have five shades to play with and I have five pets. So I came up with five shades that are named after my pets. And I know that Copacetic, they, they like to do that. They have a companion palette, which is so cute. And on the front is somebody's pet. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. So the first one is Jezebel. And I have been thinking about this shade forever. So my, my baby girl, Jezebel, there she is. She's perfect. Um, she's a black cat, right? I have three black cats. She's a black cat. But when she sits in the light, she has this amazing like reddish brown shift to her fur. So this shade, and I couldn't really get, you know, I was playing around, like I couldn't get it perfect, but you get the gist. So it would be black base with a reddish brown shift. I, it would be so pretty, right? But not like red, reddish brown. And I'm try, I would, I'm going to try and get a picture of her shift. And if I can, I'll put it here. If not, eh. but she, she has this beautiful, it's like the color of my hair kind of in the light. So wouldn't that be pretty? A black base with like a reddish brown kind of do a chromey Jezebel shift. And that one will be called Jezebel. Um, and I'm going in order of, of when I adopted them to not play favorites. The second one is Dorian. And here he is. He's a jerk. Um, his name is Dorian Gray after the picture of Dorian Gray. I'm a literature nerd. That's another um, theme I thought of doing was literature, but I'll save those for later. Um, so Dorian is gray. So gray on gray on gray, but his tail has gray rings. So I wanted to incorporate that. So I know that Copacetic does a little marble, a marble kind of thing. So I don't know if that would be possible on a $2 tooth. I don't know. But like, if we could do like a little stripey, like gray with a little darker gray stripes for Dorian. Eco boy. Um, for Twee, 
Twee's dad, Twee's daddy's girl. Twee, she's right here. I have black hats. So it was like, well, I can't do another black shade. So I went to my husband. I was like, hey, babe, what color do you associate with Twee? And he was like, I don't know, gold. And I was like, okay. So Twee would be gold, just a pure, just yellow gold, maybe with a green shift. Cause he also said green. I was like, okay, gold. So Twee, she's a gold girl. Uh, Basil is my dog and he's right here. This is a picture of him when we first got him. He's gained some weight since then, um, but he's, he's a good boy. He's a cardigan Welsh Corgi and his name is, so since his name is Basil, um, green on green on green, baby, green, Basil green boy. Um, so just the punchiest, most beautiful, you know, green base with green shimmer and maybe some green glitter and just green, just mix all the greens together, put it in a pan and see what happens. Cause I love green. Green is my like little, my weakness color. I love green. I wear it too much. Like I have to stop wearing green. Um, and then finally Delilah, Delilah is my newest baby. We adopted her about three years ago. I thought she just walked in here. Oh, Basil's down here. Um, and she a big girl. She like her food. She a big girl. She got the chub rub on her inner thighs. So I'm like, girl, the hell, man. Um, so we wanted something to be food related for tweet or for Delilah. So we, <laughs> my husband and I talked about this one. So we're going with orange, the color orange, because orange is a color, but it's also a food. So that one, um, that was the one that I had most trouble with. I I want I was leaning toward a mat but I also didn't want mattes, but I also have a matte gray, but a matte orange would be pretty too. I don't know, I would have to have it laid out. Um, but those are my my two five pan, five pan, five, five shade, $2 Tuesdays, where if I got the opportunity to work with Copacetic, I would be so happy. It would be a dream come true. Um, and I have ideas, so, you know, hit a sister up. I'm smart, I'm creative, I'm clever, I'm funny. At least I think I'm funny. I don't know, anyways. <sighs> this coffee, like, it's not a big cup. They don't do big cups here, um, but it's got caffeine in it. And I'm like, woo! Um, anyway, so thank you so much for joining me and indulging me in my little eyeshadow creation fantasies. It's kind of a dream job of mine to work in makeup development. Um, kind of marries everything that I want to do. Um, so like, follow, subscribe, hit that like button. Anything you do right now for my channel, I'm a little tiny baby podunk channel right now, but slow and steady wins the race and I'm slow and steady. I'm gonna win the race or at least get in the race. Um, so anything you do to help me, is really appreciated. Um, so thank you so much for watching. My allergies are, and hopefully maybe in a couple of months, you'll see one of these come to life. Oh, this video, I wanna dedicate this video. This video is dedicated to Olivia's mom. Olivia's mom, Olivia is the owner of Copacetic Cosmetics and Olivia's mom, likes watching these videos, I heard. So, Olivia's mom, cheers, this is for you. Pick me, or just talk to me. <laughs> no, pick me, pick me, pick me. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye.